G'day guys, Gooks here and you're welcome to my drunk philosophy. I make this video, I've made this one of these videos every year since I've been on YouTube, five years or so, so that's five different videos. In fact, I've probably made multiples of this video. And to be quite honest, I'm sick and tired of repeating myself on this. We're talking about Australia Day, the 26th of January and changing the date. It proves nothing. Okay? It proves nothing. You can change the date to the 26th of June. You can change the date to the 13th of March. You could change the date to the 31st of January. Whatever you want. Here's the thing. This is the way it's framed. Okay? That because of colonialism, okay, that happened. We all know it. And because of the way Aboriginal people have been treated subsequently... Which, yes, is a dark, horrific, tragic stain upon our nation's history that we should change the date because it's somewhat close to the day the First Fleet arrived from England into Australia to colonise this country. It's also, by the way, not that far off the date where we became a sovereign nation in 1901. But still, apparently... It's colonisation. It's this. No, it's not. This is cynical. This is political. This is activism. Because no matter which date you have it on, to which date you change it, you cannot change the nation's history. You can't do it. If I was to believe, or maybe it was truthful, that the Aboriginal people, if the date changed to... 29th of June. Yeah, 29th of June. <laughs> and we changed it to that date. And that would suddenly erase all the history. It would make all the sore better. And it would make the stolen generation disappear from the collective minds of our nation. The slavery disappear. If it would make all the horrific things that the apartheid, you know, Aboriginals on this side of the bar, white people on that side of the bar. If that were the case, I would say, you know what? Fine. Cool, but it doesn't. It's cynical. It's power. We can change the date because you are racist if we don't change it. Bullshit. It's power. This will not help one Aboriginal person. This will not help any of the history of our nation. It just doesn't change a thing. It's arbitrary. But it's got that power element to it. And by the way, this isn't most of the Aboriginal people or even anybody else who supports this, this is done by political activists. And if somebody could please point to me who, who claims that this is a civil rights thing, which is what I'm seeing and I've seen for years now, please point to me how this will give any rights to Aboriginal people that might actually help them. It doesn't exist. The other thing I keep saying is, oh, the Liberal government never changed the date. They never changed. The Liberal government are evil. Liber Short memories. This first came up in 2004. Yes, under the Howard government. However, it was still an issue under Kevin Rudd and Julia Gillard. They were both Labor prime ministers. Did nothing. Did absolutely nothing on this issue. Swept it under the carpet. Swept it under the goddamn carpet. So if you're going to say, well, it's the right wing. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. You can't say that because the left wing did bugger all about it as well. Okay, so if you're going to make a big argument about uh, Scott Morrison's a piece of shit because of this, I'm sorry, you're going to have to do the same thing to Julia Gillard and to Kevin Rudd over this issue. They were both Prime Ministers. This was an issue back in their time. They did nothing either. But it's arbitrary. It's a political power move. It's a stunt. It won't change anything. It will not take away the pain of the past for the Aboriginal people. It won't take away the reality of what occurred for the white people, it will do nothing of the sort. And the other thing that really pisses me off about this whole Australia Day argument is it's, it, the other way it's framed, it's all about Aboriginal Australians and white Australians. Where's the rest of Australia? Because, hey, there's Australians from every continent, every country, every kind of attribute you could give someone racially or sexually or whatever the hell you want to put it in our country. Apparently they don't matter. This conversation about Australia Day, because apparently they're not Australian enough to celebrate Australia Day and like Australia Day where it is, apparently. They're not a part of this discussion. 
In fact, most people aren't a part of this discussion. Once again, it's a political discussion. And nobody's winning anything out of this. Nobody gets anything. If the date changes, which it may well do one day, fine. But it is not going to help anyone. It is not going to do a damn thing for anyone. It's just arbitrary power. Okay? We have power to change the date. Once again, I'm not saying anyone but these activists who are doing this. It's the activists. And not all of them, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, are Aboriginal. Okay? They've turned something that is a conversation we need to have in this country, really need to have, about the stolen generation and the slavery um, and all those other problems that actually have occurred in the past. That's a conversation we need to be having. Not, let's change the date of Australia Day. That's not going to help the conversation. In fact, that's going to just ignore the conversation. And it's a conversation that we as Australians, about time we grew the fuck up and actually had with one another as individuals and as a nation so that we can all move forward and get on with what we need to do in this life. I'm Nathan Gooks Fletcher. This is my drug philosophy, and I'll catch you guys down the track. Be good. Be safe. Don't be evil. And I'll see you later. Hooroo.